Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Uh, today we've been taking a look at uh, some of the rules for calculating derivatives. Um, today we're going to take a look at uh, the chain rule. Um, now the chain rule is really important for uh, calculating the derivatives of uh, functions composed with one another. Um, basically f of g of x, um, sometimes written in this notation, sometimes written uh, in this notation here. Uh, this is what we're going to work with. Now we have the derivative of f of g of x is going to equal f prime of g of x times g prime of x. So it's basically the derivative of the entire function times the derivative of what's inside. Uh, that's kind of how I like to think of it. So say we have uh, two functions. Uh, u equals g of x and y equals f of u, and we want dy over dx. Well, we simply have dy over du times du over dx. So uh, in this case, uh, the u would be the inside function, uh, and we have dy over dx, dy being here, x there. Now, uh, this really tripped me up when I was learning about it, um, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at some examples, and uh, that should uh, really be able to clear the air when we uh, split things up into uh, their two functions, um, really when it's only one function. So the first example we're going to take a look at, we want the derivative of x cubed plus 4x all squared minus 3 times 3 minus x to the eighth to the fourth minus 8x. So let's break this down and go ahead and only look at the first piece here. And let's say that f of x, this, let's say that this is f of g of x, and f of x is just x squared. And g of x is x cubed plus 4x. And then f of g of x would be x cubed plus 4x all squared. So we have g prime, let's take g prime of x first. By the uh, power and uh, rules of linearity, uh, we're going to get 3x squared plus 4. Now f of g of x, the derivative of this entire function um, we want to have the derivative of f of g of x. So it's kind of confusing, um, but what that means is simply taking the derivative of this entire term here. So we have f prime of g of x. Now, the derivative of this by itself, without taking the derivative of anything in the middle, is just 2 times x cubed plus 4x to the first, so we leave out the power. And then we need to go ahead and multiply by that g of x, by that g prime of x. So the result is this. So this is the result of uh, what we get for the first term. Uh, so that's the derivative of that. And using linearity, we're just going to handle each of these terms separately. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this here, uh, erase all the work here. This is the derivative of the first term. And we're going to go ahead and follow the same process for that second term. So the second term. Um, we would have f of x is negative 3x to the fourth, and g of x would be 3 minus x to the eighth, and then f of g of x would be 3 times 3 minus x to the eighth uh, to the fourth. So let's take the derivative of the entire thing first. And now we'll look at the derivative of what's on the inside in uh, g of x here. 
Now we have a constant, so that's just going to be 0, and we have a negative x to the 8th, which is negative 8x to the 7th. So if we put them both together and take the derivative of the whole term, it's going to be this times this. Um, this is going to be negative 12, but we have also a negative 8, so we're just going to treat that as a positive number. And we have 12 times 8 times x to the 7th times 3 minus x to the 8th, all cubed. Now, the last term we don't need to use the chain rule for. We just have a minus 8 um, using uh, that uh, linearity um, because we're treating that, again, as a separate term from the other two terms. So putting that all together, the derivative we have of the entire function, I'm not going to rewrite it, but the whole derivative is this. Two times x cubed plus four x times 3x squared plus 4, plus 12 times 8x to the 7th times 3 minus x to the 8th, all cubed, minus 8. So uh, again, we want to use the chain rule and take a look at a different function, this one down here. Uh, we're going to rewrite this function as a function to the 1 half. Excuse me. That's one half, not one. So we have the derivative of this entire function to the one half. So we're going to have, in this case, f of x is just going to be uh, x to the one half or the square root of x. And g of x is going to be this entire inside. So let's take the derivative of g first. So that's the derivative of g, and then the derivative of f of g is just going to be, um, or f prime of g of x. Is going to be 1 half of this function times, uh, or 2, the negative 1 half using the power rule. Now, if we go ahead and multiply these all out, uh, as we're supposed to, using the chain rule, we're going to get the derivative. Just go ahead and uh, multiply them through, and that's all we have to do. I'm going to go ahead and switch this term here uh, back to um, a uh, square root in the uh, denominator of the final function. And uh, using the chain rule, our final derivative here is going to be 45x to the 8th minus 24x to the 5th plus 6x squared minus 1 all over 2 times our original square root. And that's how you use the chain rule. Um, make sure that you're treating uh, the outside, outside and inside functions as separate functions. So you're finding the derivative of that inside function and multiplying it by um, what you might think is the derivative of the uh, f prime of g of x. 
Thank you for watching. For more math videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Or for additional resources, including affordable digital textbooks, please visit centerofmath.org.